I want the history books to say that America stepped up and took action. I want them to say that every American stepped up and took action. Hasn't then been the story of this great nation through every one of its chapters? I mean, the power and the spirit of volunteers and the power and the spirit of ordinary men and women coming together and serving has pulled our country through its darkest days. Fantastic nonprofits such as Volunteers of America have been doing this for more than 100 years. During the Great Depression, they mobilized volunteers to help the unemployed. And then during World War I and World War II, they provided food, housing, and childcare to help more than two million people across this great nation. We need them now. We need them now more than ever. We need the people to serve one another. I mean, think about the kind of situation that we're in. One third of the world's wealth has vanished. Capital has evaporated. Governments must scale back. Governments don't have any more the money to provide all of those programs that they used to. As a matter of fact, in California, we have lost 27% of our revenues just this last year alone. But the needs for service do not go away. Children still, still need to learn, and streets still need to be safe. That's why we need every individual to lead a crusade, a tiny revolution to make a difference. Yes, millions of people are already helping, but millions more can join us. And I know all of you here today are just the people to mobilize them. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Good. Because you have the unique innovative programs to match those in need with those who serve and uh, critical needs everywhere in this country. We need more doctors and nurses. We need more retired teachers and athletes. We need anyone with a heart to help and with the will to serve because we need volunteers to fill that void. Volunteers are doing, the right, doing that right now through the Senior Corps, which is aiding American seniors in need. Volunteers need, right now are helping the unemployed uh, find work at the one-stop centers all over the state of California. And volunteers right now are helping the homeless in Los Angeles, where a program called Chrysalis has changed more than 30,000 people's lives. That's exactly the kind of spirit and the kind of service that we need right now in this economic crisis. And when my time in office ends, I want to hand over a huge volunteer force that is ready and that is committed. Now, President Obama is calling this the summer of service. I think that's wonderful, and let's build on that. Let's take that spirit and carry it through this year and deep into the future. This is the time to act. This is the moment. We need our volunteers. We need them to step up, we step, and step, down, I mean step up and fill that void. And you as leaders will blaze the path to the, for them. And this is your moment too. Now, as you go forward, I want you to think about one word, and that is ask. The word ask. Because so many people are willing to serve, but they've never been asked. I remember the time when I first was asked. It was in the 70s when the University of Wisconsin called me and asked me to come up there and to help them with a research program to see what weight training, what effect weight training will have on Special Olympians and people that they intellectually challenged. And I went up there and took on that challenge. And let me tell you, it was the most satisfying feeling I've ever had. And then right after that, again, I was asked to serve but this time by my mother-in-law and by my father-in-law. I was a successful bodybuilder. I was a successful actor and I made lots of money. But my father-in-law, Maria's father, Sergeant Shriver, who started the Peace Corps, <laughs> and legal aid to the poor, and the Job Corps, and all kinds of programs, he said to me, he says, you have been very successful in so many things, Arnold. Why don't you try to be successful also in service? Well, the next thing I know is that Maria's mother, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, who started the Special Olympics, she put me to work and she made me the coach, the national coach, the powerlifting coach of the Special Olympians. The next thing I knew, I was the world coach for Special Olympians. And I was traveling around from country to country as the torchbearer 
and as the Special Ambassador to Special Olympics. And of course, one thing led to the next, and now I'm a full-time volunteer as governor of the great state of California. <laughs> and I'm not taking any money. I'm not getting paid for that job. And I tell you, it's such a great pleasure to serve 38 million people in this state, even though it is the most challenging thing I've ever done, but it is also the most rewarding thing I've ever done. And it all started because I was asked. Now I ask each and every one of you to spread the ask. I'm asking you to ask others to serve, and together we will champion volunteerism. We will take service to a whole new level in our state and across this great nation. We can do this, we will do this, and we will do this together. So thank you very much. Thank you.